All right, folks, uh, unusual video for me. I'm out on a test drive. We're in the Jeep. It's the 05. It's got the 37. Of course, the lights on. Uh, real interesting. This one has uh, codes in it for uh, rich and lean. So it says it's too rich and too lean, all on bank one. Well, guess what? You can't be both. Well, yes, you can. Uh, it's a speed density engine, so we're not concerned with the purge solenoid being stuck open like we would be on a mass airflow. Uh, what we're concerned with is a funky O2 sensor. Somebody's lying. Uh, we're not going to bother looking at bank two. We don't care about coolant temp. Uh, we don't care about loop status. I've already took it on a drive and I seen what it was doing. I was like, well, I'll be dipped. I ain't seen this in a while. Used to see this all the time back in the day. So I'm going to get some data here for you and I'm going to show you. Now everybody's always quick to say when you go to the auto zone, and you're like, my engine light's on. You're like, you need a gas cap and an oxygen sensor. Well, this is one of those cases where the guy would have been right, minus the gas cap. But you can see right now our fuel trims are mint. You know, we're near zero. This thing's running perfect. You know, we give her the old rev up tune up. It, it runs fine. We're going to look at our O2 sensor data. We can see we have a switching O2. We're going to look at our bank two, which is going to be our catalytic converter. Um, and we can, we'll see here. The Altel has been going kind of stupid when I zoom it in. It does this now. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's after the recent update. Uh, it doesn't work correctly. So we're just going to leave it maybe on 4X. Okay. Let's take her for a rip. And, but as you can see, we have an O2 sensor that appears to be functioning fine. You know, it's oscillating fine. Our catalytic converter's lit up and it's working fine. Uh, but watch this. We'll drop her in D, O, D. See if anything's coming. At least I'm not texting with my cell phone, right? This shouldn't be illegal. Uh, the bearings are wasted in this thing, so plug your ears. But we're gonna drive down the road and look what happens when we give it throttle. Look at that upstream O2 sensor. Look at our fuel trims. Our fuel trims are pegged out. And, I, and I'm not giving her the beans. We're just barely creeping along here. But that O2 sensor is deader in a door now. And let's see here. Our fuel strategy. I'm trying to keep it between the white lines. I, I just let off the throttle. It should come back to life. Because there's other questions we need to answer because you have to be careful with Chrysler's because how do we know is the rear one stuck rich forcing the fuel trims down or is the front one dead that's what we need to know Chrysler's do use the rear action sensor for fuel strategy right now that freaking O2 sensor is not working at all there we go we'll give her a little throttle get it back to life so O2 sensors back to life. Now to answer your question, how do we know which one it's developing its fuel strategy from? We're gonna go out and put it in wide open throttle mode, uh, in which case it should hit open loop. See, we're not gonna look at our fuel trims because we don't care about them because we know what's going on now. See, right now, fuel system strategy uh, was in open loop already. So when we go full throttle, it does go into open loop. Therefore, it's not going to be looking at feedback from these sensors. So what should happen if indeed we are not running out of fuel and it is just a bad O2 sensor at wide open throttle, our rear sensor will go high. It'll go full, full power enrichment mode. And if our front one's laying at zero, then we know we just have a bad O2. So let's drop her down and drive. We got to wait for the people coming behind us. We don't want to whip out in front of nobody and then we'll go see what uh we'll see what happens but you can see how clearly this this could kind of trick you if you didn't know what was going on we've got one more hondu coming all right here we go folks ready wide open throttle Chevy thunder yeah baby oh this guy's turning we gotta slow down but we could clearly see during that wide open throttle event that the rear O2 sensor was pecked right out rich. You know, indicating that indeed this Jeep is getting all of its fuel. It's 
it's defaulted to an open loop strategy, but the rear O2 sensor is functioning. And how, how else can we prove that? Oh, shit. Let me get up here. I got a guy right on my hiney. But let's put it in fuel cut mode. I'm going to take it out of overdrive. We're coasting. And it just went into fuel cut mode. Wide open throttle. We're back in business. Back into fuel cut mode. Back into a lean condition. So that tells me the fueling strategy of the PCM is working. Everybody's happy. The rear one's working. The front one is a liar, liar. Pants on fire. It needs an O2 sensor. Um, am I worried about the wiring uh, that goes to it? Uh, probably not. Um, we'll do a quick bypass test on it, but I'm sure that's it. Now, I'm going to go back to the shop. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope this helps somebody at some point with their Chrysler and their funky O2 sensors. Um, it used to be what you would see is you would see this happen a lot, like on the four liters and the five twos and the five nines, and it would make this thing run like garbage. Uh, people would complain that when they take off, it skips and bucks and backfires, but if they give it a bunch of shoe, put the pedal to the plastic, the cars would take off and run good. Uh, and all they were doing by, you know, hammering down on it was putting it in the open loop. But look, you know, now we drive all civilized, boom. It's working. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just like me. Anyhow, work your way down in that comment section. Down there. The questions, the comments, the concerns. Oh, you're down there. The Insta, the Facebook. Just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.